Hey guys, welcome back to Maker's Corner. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wham Bam Flex Plate System for resin printers. I'm going to be trying mine out on the all new Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. So if you're ready, let's get started. Quick little side note before we do jump into the meat and potatoes of the video. Uh, for one, if you hear any weird stuff, uh, Hurricane Debbie is currently going over us. So, you know, there could be some weird sounds. Also, I'm testing out a few different new microphone setups, so yeah. Uh, also, stick around till the end of the video because I do have some announcements I'd like to make, and yeah, that's it. So let's get started. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing here. I was fortunate enough that because I live in Florida, I got this in one day because Wham Bam is also based in Florida. So opening up the package, we have the protective cardboard that they use to keep everything nice and safe during transit. Cut away the plastic, and inside this envelope we have the actual product. We have the magnet and the flex plate that will go onto our build plate. Inside this plastic baggie we've got a couple of little extras like some Wham Bam stickers. We also have a lovely little thank you for spending a bunch of money on us. And of course, we have the ever so important instructions. Seriously, don't throw these away, read them. It's got a lot of good information in here. And of course, we have our sandpaper. Now I'm gonna pause the video here for just a moment to address Wham Bam directly on this. Wham Bam, seriously, if you're gonna sell a $71 magnet, let me repeat that, a $71 magnet, you need to include a sheet of sandpaper that is at least the size of the build plate. This teeny tiny little piece ain't cutting it. I end up having to go out and buy my own sandpaper, which, I mean, it's not like it costs a whole lot of money, but when you're spending this much money on a product, you kind of expect to get, you know, the bare minimum that you need in order to install it. So just a little something to keep in mind. So after I went out and got my own sandpaper, I went through the incredibly painful process of sanding my build plate. Now, I want to be clear, this has nothing to do with Wham Bam or their product. This actually has to do with Elegoo and my build plate having a two millimeter dip in the middle. I'm going to pause the video again here just to show you how bad it was. This was after 45 minutes of sanding. That's all I was able to get off. So as long as your build plate is in taco shape like mine, you should be able to finish the sanding process in about 10 to 15 minutes. After four very long and excruciating hours, the sanding was done and I took some paper towels and some isopropyl alcohol and gave this thing a really thorough cleaning because the build plate needs to be completely 1000% clean before attaching the Wham Bam magnet. At this point, it's time to start attaching the magnet to your build plate. I simply peeled back a little bit of the paper covering the adhesive, and then I took the magnet and I aligned it to my build plate using the side that I didn't peel the paper off of. Once I was happy with the placement, come on, hurry up. God, I've already sped this video footage up. There we go. Once I was happy with the placement, I took my finger, I pushed down in the middle, and then I slowly worked my way out to the sides, just as Wham Bam suggests to do. Once I did that, I simply peeled the magnet back a little bit to expose a little more of the paper and the adhesive, and did the same process. Start from the middle, and pushing out. Pull the paper back more, push from the middle, and out. And then finally one last pull and there we go going from the middle and working our way outwards i give the whole magnet one quick once over make sure i didn't have any air bubbles and somehow i managed to get this right on the first try and there we go our build plate is now complete unfortunately the hardest part of this whole process now begins waiting a full 72 hours after installing the magnet before putting it on your printer and using it for the first time this is my first test print. Sorry, it's a little out of focus. Um, but this is a little Veroni giraffe thing that my mom's been bugging me for months to make for her. So I figured this would be a good first test. Now you're gonna see me struggling a little bit to remove it from the, the, the flex plate. That's simply due to the fact that I typically use really, really thin rafts, which are pretty flexible. So it took a little convincing, but overall it actually didn't take that much. As you can see here, I'm pretty darn close. One more quick little flex and it started coming up and I was able to peel it off pretty easily. But what about a print where we actually kind of 
prefer to print directly on the build plate without a raft, such as one of these little articulated dragons, which you would typically print on an FDM printer, not a resin printer. As we can see, it stuck pretty well to the flex plate, and after a quick little bendy bend, it came right off, nice and clean. Look how beautiful and how easy that was. Try doing that without a flex plate. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, little flexies are cool and all, but what about something a little more practical? Well, I actually don't typically use my printers for making giraffes and articulated dragon thingies. I actually use them quite a bit for work. As a CMM programmer and operator, I tend to design and print custom fixturing for some of the parts we run at work. So let's take a look at this little fixture. Now typically you would have to put it on a 45 degree angle and then add a bunch of supports, which, I mean, look at that. What a waste. So much material just in supports for nothing. Now if we go back and we take a look at our print time, we'll see that this part is going to take an hour and 18 minutes to print. That's kind of crappy for how small of a part this is. So if we go back and we get rid of the support material and then we flatten it back down to the plate and then we'll come over and re-slice it again, we get a print time of just 38 minutes. That's a pretty big time savings in addition to material savings from not wasting all that resin on support material. Just like our cute little bone dragon we just printed, this part came out great and with just a little bit of flex there, it came right off. Again, something that would not be possible without a magnetic flex plate. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a few things I do want to discuss that I didn't really have time to in the video for. One, I made a huge, huge, huge mistake. Uh, in trying to get this video out a little sooner, I started a print remotely while I was at work. Not a good idea on my part because I didn't realize I hadn't put the flex plate back on the magnet before starting the print. And so it printed directly on the magnet which completely destroyed it. I am spending a good couple of days getting that magnet off just to put a new one on. I do want to give a huge, huge shout out to Wham Bam. Their customer support was amazing throughout all this. They hooked me up with a little discount code because, well, I made a mistake, which they didn't have to do. So thank you guys over at Wham Bam. You guys are awesome. Really, really love your product. I do also kind of wish I had a little bit of time to get a bit more footage of other prints, but again, this video is already two weeks overdue, so I had to make do with what I had. Now, one other thing I do want to talk about before I end the video, I know I've done a couple of product reviews so far, and I, I don't want you guys to think that this is what this channel is about. This channel is mainly supposed to be about, you know, doing DIY projects, which I definitely want to get back over to. It's just my, my work schedule lately has been a bit... Uh, so I am going to slowly start getting back into it. Uh, over time at work's been canceled, so I do have a little bit of free time on my hands now. So we're going to get back to that. So make sure you subscribe because I do have a really, some really cool projects planned, all right? Uh, I don't want to spoil any of them or you know tease any of them, but there's some, some pretty cool ones. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did and you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.